Hi guys, it's Otto from Motorize.it and today I'll be talking about the Smooth RS100 remote control. We're going to show you how to add it to an existing motor to the RS100 which has uh, been mounted in this, uh, this roller shutter and how to use it. Now first of all I've programmed the RS100 with this remote control. So to add this remote all I need to do is select the right channel, press the PROG button which is here the motor will then jog, means the memory is open. I then take the Smooth RS100, make sure it's actually on. So if you haven't turned it on, make sure to do that first. And then I press the PROG button again until the motor jogs. Now why would I add another remote? First of all, it's handy always to have two remotes as a backup. But in this case, um, this is a wall-mounted remote and it allows you to use a specific feature which is to control the speed of the motor. So I now have it in the regular speed and if I press up the roller shutter will roll up but as soon as I flick the switch it slows down. Now why would you need to slow it down? Because it's less noisy. So for example if you want to have uh, um, less noise in the morning when you open your roller shutters you put it in this position and the motor will roll down in this lower speed. Now you can change any time you want, so even when it's moving, just flick the switch and it will increase its speed. So it's a very handy feature that you can use uh, whenever you want to have less noise from your roller shutter. Now if you have any questions about the Smooth RS100, adding a remote control to an IO motor or anything else about the RS100 motor, do let me know. The email address is info at motorize.it and that's motorize with an S. Thank you and see you next time.